Hi, I'm Stacy with Tarot with Stacy. Today we're going to do a deck review on the Hocus Pocus Tarot by Minerva Siegel. I do have two of her decks. I have the regular deck and I also have a mega deck, which a mega deck is, is quite large. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> it does come with a book. I do love it. I, I particularly don't like the finish of the cards. That's the only drawback I feel with the cards because they're more like a matte finish and they don't slide very nice which I, I, I tend to like that so see they, they break apart but other than that they're very beautiful they capture the movie very well and here is the mega size card and here is the regular size card so you can see the difference and if you really like to dissect the cards the mega deck is a really great option all right, so we're going to go do a flip through. Again, I'm not affiliated with the with the author or the movie. So we're just going to, this is just my opinion. We're going to go through, we're going to look at the images. So we have Max Dennison as the fool, Winifred as the magician. We have Sarah as the high priestess. We have, I believe, I'm not sure, I think this might be the mother as the empress. The father as the emperor. The book is the Hierophant because we need more guidance, so that's a perfect image for a Hierophant. The Lovers, this is when Max Dennison was giving his number to, oh my gosh, Allison. <laughs> and then we have Mary as the Chariot, Danny as Strength because we know what kind of energy she brings to the movie. We have the Hermit, which is um, Billy, which is, he's in the ground. <laughs> uh, then we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have Justice, which has all three of the witches. Suspension, this is the bullies. We have Transformation, which is also known as the Death Card. And this is with Binks. Then we have Allison as Temperance. We have the Devil as the Master, which is also the Devil Card. We have Emily as the Star. Mary again as the Moon. We have the sun when Winifred turned to stone. And we have the graveyard as judgment. And then we have when um, Binks, <clears throat> Zachary, is reunited with his sister Emily. And that is the world because that has, everything has completed. It's come to an end. So with, <clears throat> with these cards, they also have different meanings. So with potions, this means wands. So I'm just going to do a flip through. I'm not going to say every card but we're going to start off with the ace and then it goes you know one through ten and then the knight i'm sorry the page the knight the queen the king and i try to make these videos quick i do have a live that i'll be doing here in about oh 20 minutes <laughs> but by the time this uploads i'll probably already be on on live and I do live videos, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time in the United States, Monday through Friday, on my Facebook page, which is Tara with Stacy. And just make sure that if you are joining me, you know, we, we do three separate readings. You pick reading one, two, or three. And then I pick additional cards afterwards for the viewers, time permitting. But you can also make sure it's me by going to the About and the Page Transparency. My page was created January 12th, 2022. All right, now we're going into the pumpkins. The pumpkins are pentacles. And these are so cute as well. Okay, we have the knight, we have the queen, we have the king. So that does the pentacles. Now the next one is candles, represents cups. So this has to do with the emotions. So we start off with the ace. And then we have the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. The last suit is lightning, and that represents the swords. So we start off with the ace, and then we go through two through ten.
And these cards, they do um, stick, so you have to be careful. Sometimes you'll have cards that stick together. That's the only drawback, really, with these cards. Okay, we have the page, the knight, the queen, and then we have the king. And again, the lightning represents swords. So that was the Hocus Pocus deck. Now it does again come in mega deck and it comes in a regular deck. So um, I purchased these off of eBay, not eBay, I'm sorry, Amazon. I purchased these off of Amazon. And uh, again, they're, they're by Minerva Siegel. Very nice. This is the regular deck cover. And then this is the mega deck. Different, different covers, a little bit different imagery. I do like the feel of the Mega Deck box better. has some texture to it. But other than that, I would give these art, for the imagery, I would give it a pretty high rating. For the feel of the cards, I don't like a matte finish, so I wish this was in a, a coated type of card. But other than that, um, I, do like, I do like everything about it. So other than, you know, it's matte instead of shiny. <laughs> All right. So I will be making more videos. I'm going to try to hop on here every morning before I do the live on my Facebook so I can have it uploaded. And then, you know, I'll do another deck. I have over 250 decks. So um, I'll be doing this practically, maybe not on the weekend, but I'll, I'll keep doing them. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in purchasing this deck, again, I purchased it from Etsy. It is a matte finish, so just be aware of that. They don't slide, and they just have a different kind of texture to it. All right, I'll see you with the next video. Bye now.